Law enforcement sources tell us they believe a Texas shootout that ended in this crash is connected to Tuesday's murder of the Colorado State Prison Chief. The driver of the Cadillac with Colorado license plates shot at a Texas deputy after a traffic stop. A high-speed chase through two counties followed and ended when the car crashed into a truck. Police shot the driver in a gunfight. Decatur, Texas is a 12-hour drive from Monument, Colorado, where a neighbor spotted a boxy older model sedan parked near Tom Clement's house with the engine running at the time of the murder. We certainly feel that uh, this is probably going to be a scenario where this is a targeted crime. Lieutenant Jeff Kramer is with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. His position running prisons in two states for 30 plus years potentially could have built up a number of grudges and grievances from guys he had contact with. There could be any number of people who might have a motive uh, to want to perpetrate a crime uh, such as this against Mr. Clement. The corrections chief is the fifth criminal justice official in the United States to be attacked since the beginning of this year, including the still unsolved murder of a Texas prosecutor shot dead outside a courthouse in January. There were 35 such attacks or attempted attacks between 2010 and 2012. That's nearly as many as all the attacks on criminal justice officials over the prior nine years. Glenn McGovern collected these attack statistics. He's a senior investigator with the district attorney's office in Santa Clara County, California. No government agency, aside from maybe the State Department Secret Service, provide 24-hour protection. We can't do that. Texas officials have yet to identify the dead suspect in that high-speed chase. They say he's a white male in his 30s. Bob, Colorado investigators are now on their way to Texas to see whether he is the gunman responsible for the murder of Tom Clements. All right. Well, thank you, Mark.